What's going on guys? This is Mast and welcome back to some more Smite Conquest. Today we're playing some Jean Kui in this solo lane. No, we're not doing the auto attack ring build. I know it's been going around. Whoops. Wait, wait, we could have gotten a little bonus damage on that. I forgot I actually needed to level this. Um, so yeah, Jean, I think pretty netty at the moment. I feel like you can do some dirty, dirty things. You can of course do the Jean ADC that's been going around. You can do it in other roles as well, where you're just kind of generally going a ring build. Um, and then you can actually go the damage build and then you can kind of go hybrid tanky and all sorts of nonsense like that too. Okay. We got an absolute noob in ADC. Unfortunate. We got a Sylvan in the soul lane. Probably not so unfortunate. Let's see what we got to do here. What are we doing, man? Yep. And then he's dead. And then he's dead because he's sleeping on the... Is he dead? Is he sleeping on the Zhang? I'm trying to get the angle so I actually get the autos. Okay, I think he just dies. I kind of want to let him bleed out, but I think I'm trolling. So let's actually do that. Yeah, <laughs> I trolled a little too high. <laughs> I wanted to just let him bleed out. But he heals too much, man. I don't even think like he didn't have his two ever, right? I think he just simply had pots and pots went crazy. I'm pretty sure that's all there was to it. Hang on, we got to do a little. Oh, I don't have time for it. Oh, he does have his two. I wanted to try and um get the level up in time that we could three the front minions, but then heal off the uh, the archers that we had tagged. I was hoping we could do get a little quick sustain, but that didn't happen. Okay, do I actually get a heal up someday? Definitely don't get to contest that. Yeah, I don't know what has been going on lately with matchmaking, man. Um, West, East, like it doesn't matter. There's just straight up. There is some some atrocious matchmaking where my only I, I guess I got two theories. I think there's a chance, it's messed up if this is what it is, I think there is a chance that because I am a very high elo, um, I mean player in general, but especially in casuals, that it's trying to compensate routinely by putting like a super noob on my team. Um, and not just like, not just, you know, like team's gonna be worse to compensate, that just makes sense, that's just how it is. But like straight up like, okay, we got a masters, we got a, a tin, you know, like under bronze, right? I keep getting stuff where we'll have like a meditation jungler, a meditation ADC. They don't know how the starts work, even though the starts have been the exact same this entire season, which has now been out for like seven months. Uh, like <laughs> It keeps happening. It's why there hasn't been a video the past couple days. It's tilting the shit out of me. I've been so frustrated with it, man. And it's one thing when it's like, okay, West has a smaller player base, but it's happening more on East, which is really wild. Um, and it's different if it's support. If, if support builds mad, that's fine. Or if they're just simply trying to cook. Like, even even solo lane. If they're trying to cook the way I did on Karan, where it makes any sense, that's one thing, too. But it's not, man. It's just it's just smite matchmaking. Oh, I was kind of content to eat that, but we got to get the cooldowns off first. Okay, he might goof. I need the cooldowns a little sooner. Here we go. I think he just goofs now. I'm trying to not pull the wave aggro if I can avoid it. Hang on, and then we get the little, <clears throat> and then I don't kill. And I gotta try and not die to the suck. That's too bad. I thought we'd be able to kill him there. But I really don't do much to him, do I? Like, he's not building tanky, is he? Is he? No, he's just got death toll. I mean, that gives him HP. By the way, we hit five, and he's actually, wait, why did you hit five? I guess we're not fighting this. What? Bro, I have a kill. <laughs> I don't, I guess he did get the silver buff. I might do a gank here, we'll back. We'll back it up. I don't know where jungle is and I'm scared. I might lose my blue buff too. That's okay. Yeah, I really assumed like I hit five and I was like, okay, that's gotta just straight up be like, maybe he manages to live, but that's gotta just be a W trade, even if we have no mana for, for the rest of the stuff. And then I look at him after I've hit five and I've pressed the button and, uh, and he's just casually the same thing. I didn't expect that. I really didn't. I assumed first blood would matter a little more. But TP does exist, and then cooldown buff probably gave him the little tick over. I don't know. Unfortunate, man. Alright, we yoink that. We're gonna be going back in a sec for Chronos Pendant. The build that I've been messing with, I've done a couple of Jean games recently, um, has been very different than this one's gonna be, which is gonna maybe give us better early game. It's hard to see. He's got this, like, low, right? Yeah. Um, it's kind of hard to say for sure. We're going for more of a good late game build slash overall build. Got now a gank coming. Do a little setup. Why wouldn't there be a jungler here? 
Bro, I am so body blocked, it's unreal. <laughs> I kept trying to wiggle around and it just wouldn't let me. We going on him. Okay, and then we land, right? And then we land. We get in there. No? He doesn't have mana. That's okay. That's fair enough. I think she's about to end. Am I about to end? Wait a minute. Who's inting here? There we go. I thought that'd do more. How, how bad is my ult? Like, I got every tick and did 300? That's not that good. Considering considering how long we got to keep that on somebody, I really thought it'd be hitting harder by now. But I guess not. All right, I think we go Warlocks next. Yeah, so the build that I was going was um, a build that overall kind of sucks, but kind of slaps, where we go Vamp into Sacrificial. We go Bancroft, Typhons, Polly, normally a late Chronos Pennant, because having some sort of cooldown just is, like, necessary. Then I think more pen. I don't remember what the last item would be. Um, and what I found is early game is stupid. You get so much Bancroft's lifesteal value. But the thing is, late game it sucks, because Bancroft is a garbage item. What the, why is he so mad? Was Al Kwong there yet? <laughs> what is he even mad about? And we're not hitting him all that hard. Little auto cancel there. Actually, might just get to kill him in a sec. Why are we just kind of chilling? Yeah, clean it, <laughs> clean it up. <laughs> that was all Al Kwong, baby. That sucks. I wanted to heal off this. We'll wait for the next wave. I don't care too much. That's fine if he takes it. If we get out, if we get, um, not Alquan ganked. Yeah, if we get Arachne ganked, why is their entire team here? Stop. Entire team here. This guy doesn't take too much damage, otherwise I'd try and kill him. Oh, he's getting in there. Oh, okay, okay. And then they're dead. And then they're dead, right? A little bit dead. And then Alquan gets a little greedy. Maybe not. Oh, he does get greedy, but in a way I didn't expect. He's just proxying me. That's okay, though. I got it back. Oh, he didn't commit to it. Why did he ult the wave? <laughs> I don't know why he ulted the wave if he's not going to actually take the wave. Hang on. We may be going to clean this up. Get a little sneaky on him. Get a little sneaky on him. Give me the buff. Sharden. We're Sharden. We have been a part of every kill. And we're in the solo lane. And Al Kwong has been a part of almost just as many. Definitely, uh, definitely an interesting game right here. I thought he wanted that. Definitely, definitely an interesting one. Let's like, let's bring everybody over here. Let's, let's all cook in the solo lane. So it's kind of, I need to like ingrain this in my head because I used to have so much fun leveling this. It's basically pointless now to level the three. Um, not like overall, it's not that it's a bad ability, but it doesn't, it doesn't get any sort of extra perk from scaling other than, ah, than damage. Zhonged. <laughs> it took so, by the way, I was literally, <laughs> I straight up was holding left click. That is how long the three animation is, by the way. If you guys don't play Zhang, it is worth knowing. Man has some ridiculously long animations. I was trying to auto cancel that entire time and it was just not happening. Okay, I kind of want to go poke him out, but let's go actually get the item. Give me that. Bro, that is... <laughs> That is, a, that is a hell of a reference that some people actually get. <laughs> that some people actually get. Give me that. Give me that. Anybody know that reference? I feel like three people watching this are going to know that reference. Such an obscure show, man. It's so good. Um, and I'm not going to name it. I will name it. If you guys haven't seen I Think You Should Leave. Uh, maybe it's not that obscure. I don't know. It's, a, it's definitely an obscure type of comedy. It's so funny, man. But some people are going to hate it. It's about a 50-50 of uh, either just hating it or thinking it's really funny. Because it's like obscure, weird humor. Yeah? Yeah, you're trying to suck? You're trying to suck? Suck this! Huh? Suck this! Yeah, let's just, let's just party it up in the solo lane. I love it. Let's just keep them coming. Let's just keep the gangs coming. I do feel kind of bad. This guy wanted to play Sylve Solo and uh, presumably have a fun time. You know, Sylve Solo, not exactly the sweatiest pick. Not that Zhang's the sweatiest, but, you know, he's getting spam ganked on the fun pick. Did I miss? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought, you know, I thought that hit both. I guess not. Yeah, you know, let's just get, you know, Emir gank every three minutes. Let's get an Alquan gank every two minutes. 
on the guy that's just trying to have fun in the solo lane playing a guardian and building a damage. I'm assuming he's building a damage. Yeah. Anyways, getting all the way back to, to an earlier point that I think I dropped. The Bancroft's build, Bancroft's is basically a garbage item ever since they nerfed lifesteal really hard and nerfed power really hard. Bancroft's got done dirt. <laughs> that's so troll. It looked like that really wasn't meant to be a juke, but it kind of ended up being a sick juke. But it kind of got nerfed harder than like any item in Smite, I feel like. I actually can't think of an item that got done as dirty as Bancroft's did. Um, and Bancroft's wasn't OP or anything to begin with. So, normally not good. It is absolutely filthy for early game Zhang right now, because Zhang's really good in lane, because he gets 50 prots off his passive, um, and then that turns into 100 prots when he ults, assuming he has the whole thing. Plus he has good damage, plus he has the bonus auto, and uh, he's just, he's a bit of a menace, and he has really good sustain. So, you can go that for a fun early game build. I'm assuming this build's going to be disgusting in the late game. Oh, that's too bad I didn't get the stun off. Like, he doesn't get to do anything if he's up here. <laughs> I should have let him live a little while. I should have played with my food. I should have let him walk off and then given him a little card. Let him, let him just trickle down. Yeah, what is the cooldown on this? And gooseberries can be fun, by the way, but Bao is going to make the card a menace. Yeah. Look at that, man. Look at that. So I think, oh, and we have cooldown buff that we just picked up, too. So if I get bow proc on the card, this is going down to barely under or barely over a six second cooldown. Oh, and we have Chronos Pennant. So a lot of time it's going to be closer to a five second cooldown if we're bowing that. Which is pretty obnoxious because you know how long the card lasts if you don't consume it? Five seconds. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty decent. All right, I think we farm a little longer. God, do I even build this now? I was going to end up going Typhons. Maybe I just go Polly. I'm chugging a bit. I don't know what's going on right here. Oh, I do not hit you hard at all. Max range that. Okay, I don't know how you whiffed that, man. He expected one hell of a juke. I honestly don't think I die because we still have half our passive and I'm fed as hell. Even if she did hit the web. But I don't know how she's whiffing that web. <laughs> he wanted to go through the tower. I'm going to play with my food. I'm going to play with my food. Give me the heal. <laughs> I think this game's going part two, man. They're going to need like some duo lane mentals intact. Maybe ADC and maybe ADC and middle have mentals intact. Because the rest of these mentals are getting obliterated right now. Oh my goodness, man. I feel so bad. This is just, it's such a, like, if he doesn't, it's probably a terrible matchup to begin with, but, like, if he gets fed, maybe it's playable. So, like, the fact that we got ahead early and we've just gotten straight up spam ganks is honestly brutal. I feel bad for him. Like, what's crazy is, at least up until the tilt hit, I actually think he was playing it fine. He was just Sylv solo, and he got spam ganked. And he's again Chong, and that's all there was to it. I, I think he actually, he played it way better than the typical Sylv solo. But this is his life now. Push up to get farm. Die because he pushed up to get farm. Because he's got no mobility and he just gets to slowly get whittled away by the Zhang. Yeah, I think we're just going to go into the poly right here. And we'll probably go some sort of pen item. God, perfected would be disgusting. Maybe I should actually get, um, like, probably not yet. I think poly's good enough right now. We go poly. But maybe we go perfected next. I think I might leave him be a little bit. Like, right now, we're just going to actually go get farm and dip. Um, I might leave him be from, from here on out, because for one thing, I can rotate, and I genuinely feel really bad. He genuinely does not deserve this. Yeah, we'll work on Rod next, I think. Oh, and I suppose we could get a blink. Yeah, now let's make Merlin's life a living hell, I think. Yeah, he just killed my Emir. Uh-uh. You don't just get to kill my Emir, bud. Nice try. What are we doing? I think Arachne has ult. Let's find out. Yeah, she has ult! We also just weren't going to kill, apparently, anyways. I honestly thought I could just one-shot right there. Excuse me? Oh, I got sucked! Oh, no! Anyways, start dying. Ow. 
Yeah, Tower is clamping me a little bit. I'm actually getting a little bit triggered by these Xiong animations, man. We are 10 and 0 and I'm mad at the god. And you know what? I think I have the right to be. Because check this out. Hang on, hang on. I'm holding left click? Yeah. <laughs> That's, and, and the same thing happens to our two. Like, it's going to be the same exact thing. It takes so long after the stun to follow up. And if you guys don't know, it is very good to card into stun in a lot of situations. Because while, like, the heal is nice, hypothetically, um, you double the stun duration. You get an entire extra second of stun, which is just nutty. So, normally in terms of, like, a serious PvP engagement where you don't immediately need a heal, that's the way to go. What are you doing over here, man? <laughs> what is this? I don't know if you, like, wanted to gank Sylv and then Sylv banked and this is just, like, he's just kind of grabbing whatever's around. I mean, I don't need the farm. I guess it's okay. It's very random, though. But this is a Medusa that didn't know the start, so he might just get a little lost on the map sometimes. Excuse me, did you just place this? No, I'm sorry. I'm No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, well, now he's just kind of inting a bit, but I was sorry. I think he just really wants his blue buff, and he doesn't get it. <laughs> I wonder if he knew that Medusa was there. <laughs> he, he just seems so tilted, man. I was gonna let him live, and then he kept greeting for the blue buff, and I just, my, my mind couldn't compute. Like, no, no, no. I will, I will be a little bit nice, and I will stop just running at you off cooldown while you attempt to have any fun. But you don't get your blue buff, uh-uh. I gotta draw a line somewhere. Oh, do we actually get to do something to her? Well, if she goes this way, we do. Well, that was so lucky. Are you kidding me? Nice. Get carded. Yeah, we got so lucky right there with the Bacchus flop that I, like, insta-stunned him as if... Because I totally knew that was going to happen. You've been carded? She didn't get carded. So close. Because if you guys don't know, it's got a little little secret bonus range to it that makes it extra tilting. Because while I might be tilted by how long the three animation is, other people are going to be tilted by how long the card is, just in general. This ability is ridiculous, man. It's so good. Ooh, don't mind if I do get polyed. Why don't we get double poly procs, man? This god sucks. We get a second auto, but we don't get a second poly? Are you kidding me? We do get second tail kinds and stuff, though. And you, you get a, like, double fast proc Cyclopean and do all sorts of nonsense, which is why Zhang ADC is a little bit of a thing. He's been carded. See, that's that extra card range I was talking about. I think we just kill you now. Because I get a card up again someday? <laughs> that was a little toxic. Kill me, boys. Kill me. That was a little toxic. I deserve to be put down. Alright, we might actually be winning this, though. Or at least living. Help. 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 Emir? My support? Well, we never got him. Man's down here busy trying to pull green buff away so he gets the solo farm. It's okay, we're Zhang. I'm just simply alive. Okay, shut up. Why am I getting spam laughed by my own team in? Why you gotta do me like this? I can't believe they have an F6. The mental stayed strong. That's good for me, though, because I need to limit my smite intake right now. I really do, man. I think I'm going to temporarily, if, it, if it'll remotely, <laughs> if it'll remotely work, I'm going to try and do a thing where I record like Friday, Saturday, Sunday night, like absolute prime time to get the uh, the most amount of people on for better matchmaking is my is my hope. And then I'm just straight up not going to play the game the rest of the time. I really just kind of let her do it, man. I was going to do a little meme blink, too. I wasn't even going to try and kill her. I was just going to try and uh, goof around. Because there's just, like, I actually... Unless we got randomly five-man ganked, I don't think there's any world where we're in trouble there. And Arachne has ult, so I don't think we ever get a killer either. So if we can't if we can't die and we can't kill, we might as well at least troll. Might as well find that happy little middle ground, right? Give me that. 
God, I didn't realize how good of a Zhang or how good of a voice pack Zhang had until they put the the coveted "Give me that line" from "I think you should leave." I can't believe we have a crossover. They didn't they didn't even hype it up, man. With Netflix, that's crazy. All right, so if we perfected proc and we bow proc, um, we get down to like a five second cooldown on the the one right now. And if we get more cooldown, it'll be lower, obviously. And we have Chronos Pennant, so it can maybe be four. We finally got Gemma Focus done, so I get move speed plus bonus damage, which will be really, really nice. Um, and we might actually run around, like, either twoing, probably twoing, because the card's nutty. If there's any abilities I want to keep up, it's probably the one and the three. So we might just chuck a two sometimes like this, so I can just keep zooming. Excuse me, ma'am? You've been polyed? You've been a little bit killed? Bro, she's so low. There we go. I keep not wanting- she keeps getting so low, it feels wrong to ult, even though we probably should just ult. Get in there? Okay, maybe not, maybe not. That's fine, that's fine. That's valid. Okay, but then we get in there. <laughs> How much did I do to her, man? I can't even tell. Okay, maybe she was- whoops. Maybe she's just actually low. Uh-oh! Wow, he hasn't flopped, huh? Wow, okay. Hang on, I'm a man on a mission. Bro, I am trying to poly the phoenix, not your face. Hey! I actually don't get to do this. <laughs> He's taking phoenix down there? He's a man of commitment. Yeah, I feel bad. I think Sylv 100% has wanted to F6 since the 10 minute mark and the team's not. No, get off my boy. Get polyed. Mr. PP down. You want to be Mr. PP up, right? feel like a lot of people have issues when the PP won't go up. All right, let's go back. Sorry, I shouldn't have... That's that a fucking stupid joke. I shouldn't have said that. It's so dumb. You got Moxie, kid. I'll give you that yeah, well, he's, I mean, he's committed to the cause. You got to respect that, right? Get out of here. Just straight up run it down. Maybe someday get the Phoenix. Truly dedicated to his lane. All right, uh... I hate to say it, I think we're selling Bow in a sec. I don't know what we're selling it for, though. We got pretty much our cooldown done, especially once we get Red Pot, and as long as we have, like, a buff with, with the uh, cooldown stance, which is the stance that we're going to want, we can just cap it off like that. So we don't really need any more. Um, we only have 20% pen, so I could just straight up go, like, a Typhons or an Obsidian or something, but honestly, it doesn't really seem like we care that much because we just kind of delete the squishies. Bro, they can gank me if they want. Bring on the five-man gank. I'm not even kidding. But do it all at once so that I don't die. If they if they just, like stall it out long enough, then I actually just get dumpster. Hey, hi! Okay, okay. They did actually do it. Oh, I didn't get the poly. Please. Please! There we go, there we go. Damn, so close to living there, man. So close. Hey, I said bring it on and they sure did. I kind of appreciate it. I don't even care. Like, I actually, I was just such a raid boss for a while. I'm kind of happy to die almost. And we got we to gotta get a little something back for it, too. If it wasn't at such an awkward time, we're probably fine there, too. Because I think I just dumped two of my abilities on the blue buff and then I got ganked. If I remember right. So. And we just like immediately kind of got like dumped on by stuff that I could do anything about. So I think otherwise we even <laughs> we even just straight up live, which is wild. All right, we'll sell this for some something. If I want them to hate their lives even more, we could go Gem of Iso for the card. But I don't think we need it. Yeah, I think we're just going to go straight up Typhons. Because it's good. All right, Sylvia, got stop. Welcome back to the real lane. I gotta just hold that three. He's doing that. I do a lot of damage to him. Wow. Because he is full squishy, right? Yep. Little look at the Zhang damage at the moment. That'll do it. Polly is also an ability. <laughs> Polly, Polly is doing ability levels of damage. Not quite. It's kind of up there. Considering it's got no base damage, that's pretty cracked. But it's just straight up scaling. Yeah, Zhang's a fun god, man. I wish he was better more often. Like, right now, he genuinely is good, I think. Um, but I feel like for, for a really long time, he's typically not. He's typically fairly bad. 
And considering how immobile he is, a lot of time if he's not, if he's not at least solid, he tends to feel really bad. Because things can just like, there are so many fights where it's like, okay, I'm Zhang and I'm doing things if I ever get there, but I'm Zhang, so I don't. Where it's like so hard to stay caught up. Which is why we got this gem of focus going. Get a little extra move speed up in here. And we could realistically probably go like Doom Orb over Chronos Pennant if we need the move speed or something. But honestly, I don't think Doom Orb's that good. So we're going to do this. Okay, we might just be cringing split push a Phoenix. Because I can't tell what the hell's going on over here. Oh, maybe maybe we rotate. I think like team dies and then I get here late and then I die. Especially because I don't have my beads up. But maybe we, maybe we need to die. Let's balance the game out a little bit, right? I shouldn't have done this. Arachne, bro. N what? Oh. Hi. Hi. There's no way she got out of that, right? Oh. Oh, we don't get to reach the poly. Oh, thank you. Man brought me some heals. I'm so confused. I think our three just got like straight up bugged through through CC or something, or, or maybe it really did the thing where um, I'm trying to think if I do this. Yeah, I think it does have like the Wukong two thing to it where it actually does swing around where it actually like cyclically goes around clockwise. So maybe she just got like the craziest, just luckiest Duke ever where I kind of swung it in a way that trolled. I don't know. Because I don't think she ran out of the range, and I don't think it got CC'd in time. It's so funky. Okay. okay. Okay, we need to do a fire giant, man. What the hell is happening in this game? I gotta start shot calling for him. Because our team is just doing random things while <laughs> while I kill people. <laughs> so I feel like what's starting to happen. Although they're doing gold right now. Gotta get some sort of coordinated effort so this doesn't just go on for 40 minutes. Oh, there we go. A little coordination from the other team. Damn, this is going to be a uh, report sealed after game type of lobby, isn't it? Because the man really has not stopped running it down left lane. All right, can we actually get people to group up and do fire? And maybe we get a little cuckoo. Maybe get a little cuckoo to do pyro. Or you can just run it down mid. Or, or you can do the absolute opposite. <laughs> I'm leaving him to that, man. That's on him. If he dies, he dies. That is on you, man. Okay, I think she's just dead. I don't think we gotta blink that. Like, I tried to tell him. He's like, uh-uh, this Shingwei is mine. Can I help you, ma'am? How have I not been hit by these spiders? What? How did that hit her? Bro, poor Arachne. You guys remember when they buffed her so that she's like immediately up in the air, but then that didn't actually happen? Because I remember. Okay, you're dead. You've been polyed. Don't do it, Bacchus. Don't you do it, man. Oh, he actually got the timing. That's cr I was holding that for him. That's so ridiculous. He got the just accidental timing to live there. Did I just miss? I think I missed that. I think I just trolled this kill. All right, get in there, boys. Get a poly on it. He switched mid. Oh my god! Silves in mid now. Don't do it. Don't do it. Damn, I actually hit him pretty hard. Oh wait, are we fine? My bad. I just assumed like anybody would rotate because I'm pushing a left Phoenix and they have four people alive, but apparently they weren't and we could have done it. My bad. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if Ymir actually knew nobody was coming or if, he, or if Ymir's just mad because it was one. Because it was so low. But I just, you know, like what world are they not defending that? This one, but I, you know, I feel like they should have. Okay, now we have no cooldowns, because we pop beads instead of using it for a CC immune, we just straight up pop it for cooldowns, and they just get undone. That's not entirely true, but it's a little bit true. Because if we cooldown dump, we get perfected, um, and we pop beads, that alone is going to almost entirely undo the cooldowns. 
And considering how long the animations are, it probably just does undo the cooldowns. Is it? Wards, really? I heard wards don't do anything, and they're bad, and you shouldn't place them. They're actually just cosmetic. They don't have any sort of impact on the game. You been polyed? Or I gotta start... <laughs> okay, apparently she didn't get the ult off in time. I gotta start ulting this Arachne, man. I keep just hoping I don't have to because I get her so low with the combo, and it just feels wrong to ult for one tick of damage. But it really seems like every time I need the ult damage or somebody else to do damage. Eh. Whittle it down, boys. Whittle it down. Our secure is garbage. We might just lose this. Got it. Alright, get in there. Excuse me, ma'am? No, I am Zhang. Oh, she actually ran. Shit. Pollied. Are you kidding me? Be dead! There we go. Took a minute. How many ticks was that? I think that was three ticks. Oh, we actually... That's troll. I'm sorry, man. That makes up... <laughs> That is the dumbest interaction. So earlier, I don't know what happened with Arachne, but then we get a little, little funky interaction back where <laughs> I, I get ulted and I basically just like ult him back, but with my three. Where he interrupts it, but it still does full damage and he gets stunned anyways, even though he was at least temporarily CC immune. Poor guy. That's so stupid. Uh-oh, you dead? I might just be dead. Oh. Uh, damn, this Arachne. I feel like more than anybody is just suffering from the poly right now. Yeah? And then he cooks? And then he cooks? Are you kidding me? He's not dead? Bro, you're, well, you're gonna be dead. I missed my poly, though. This is just messed up right now. This is just all sorts of messed up. And I keep missing my polys. Be dead. Wait a minute. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Alright, I think that's game. Because Sylv's running it down the, the new lane. Man ran it down right lane. He finally had his chance to kill me too. You've been polyed? You've been, <laughs> you've been polyed? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, if he'll come back, he can come kill me. Does my ult do anything to Titan? I don't think it does. Wait, don't. No, no, no. Yeah, get off. There we go. That was a game. That was a video game. Yeah, Zhang, he's a lot of fun right now, man. I definitely, I've had at least a game. I think I've only played him like two or three games recently, probably just two. But in one of those games, I definitely found um, if the other team is mobile and your team does, I mean, honestly, maybe if your team is mobile and they're doing anything kind of without you and not playing around you, sometimes you do just run after your entire team in a more serious game that's more balanced where we're not 25 and one. Um where it's just, you know, you have so little mobility and you have super limited range and all that sort of stuff. But then you do get games like this where we drop 66k damage in 32 minutes while, okay, well, this normally would be a way higher number, but we didn't take that much damage because we were busy, busy killing everybody that could do damage. But normally this would be probably up around like 60k or something mitigated, um, being closer to like tank mitigated numbers and stuff. I guess we, we still mitigated a lot though. Because like Ymir straight up did tank and then... Like, this is so kind of close. So, yeah. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. And I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story. In the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room. Walls keep tumbling down.